hello guys hello guys um how are you all doing i uh, just want us to go through vic 75 if you still remember there was a trade that we spoke about um two days back i think yeah the last trade that i took with when i made the video was this one and then yesterday i had another one day but um look at like uh, you must always follow the thing the the okay the footprints that the market leaves on your day on the chart so that you know that uh, when the price gets there you're expecting some reactions so which is why if you're only executing one trade at a time so i suggest you always uh, leave it at the next opposing structure so that you don't watch the price imagine having accumulated uh, accumulated all of this move only to watch it fade away like that but if if you have got more than one then you know that you can say my main trades i'm gonna exit at the next opposing and then i just leave that one trade where it's just in jd for fun just to see how it's gonna play out which is what i did here so i'm not gonna explain how this entry came about and how this one came about though because those ones were discussed in the previous video now i want to show you what how i came about executing because there are two trades there executing from here i didn't execute now i will show you so let's get started so on this h4 our trend line is here which is the same trend line as what we had in the previous video i hope you all agree with me this is h4 trend line and this is the nearest nearest h4 support right now let's go down to h1 you will see on h1 in terms of the trend line it is placed around the same level because this is one move up and then it came down and then it went up but it didn't make it higher high meaning we can't put the trend line there we couldn't put it there when it was going up so it still remained with this higher high you see so the h1 trend line is also here which is the same around the same area as the h4 so i'm not gonna draw it i'll just refer to it you know the same way with this one i just know they are around the same level right and what happened was that um remember i always tell you that when i say wait for confirmation you'll be looking for an uh, engulfing or pin bar right <clears throat> and this uh, these things they must form at a significant area so if you're looking to buy your pin bar must form at your support or at your bullish trend line which is what which was the case here with what i had um the price came and approached this h4 and the h1 trend line and it gave me a pin bar and then with that pin bar that's when i took my first trades which is this one here because that's where the pin bar closed and that's when i entered but remember usually i don't execute one trade and with most of the trades i will target the opposing structure of which in this case you can see around this area that's where we had um the opposing area which is where i exited but i'll show you an m15 the area that i picked i'll show you on m15 so you just exit there and just leave that one in g just to see how it's gonna play out but you can't do that with your main uh, if you're only taking one trade you can't say i'll see how it's gonna play out because it's pointless for you to hold it's pointless for you to hold trade going up like that and watch it come down you see you know that this is an opposing structure so why don't you exit there and and and, and hope that just to see and and, and, you know, and and just focus on um growing the account and then when the account is big enough to allow you to take more than one trade then you can start to have more than one and then the other one you will be very lenient with the stop loss and not move it too tightly and stuff like that so this is what we had on on h1 which is uh, and again you can see when you're going down the short term momentum was this remember it's not really a a downtrend because of what for us to move from we are going up for us to move from being in an uptrend to downtrend you know all those um, conditions that i gave you in the form in a video of uh, market structure where i said for us to change from this to that we not we need to eliminate these certain structures of which you can't see it here so if you haven't watched that video make sure you watch it so that you are familiar with how to analyze the market structure so that was our h1 um trend line at the time and let's go to usually i skip m15 i mean m30 why because the scale in between 
between M M13 and M15. I mean M13 and H1. They're so small. I mean it's just two candlesticks to make one H H1 candlestick, which means if I move from this to that or from this to that, I'm not gonna see huge difference. But if I move from the same way we move from H4 to daily, so we'll find six new candlesticks that side that belong to this. Um, between daily and weekly still there's five candlesticks daily candlesticks within that you see the scale at least when i'm moving from one time frame to the other i will find uh, something to talk about in terms of the the scale and stuff like that the structure that side so let's go down to and then this one will show you where i placed my tp and where i did um this was the level which is was was inside it was inside that very same area that i spoke about okay let me mark it so that you can see that it was uh, touched yes this one you know how we draw this i showed you i showed you i showed you you can see there just a touch and then it went down it was more than enough remember that was for the trade that i took here which is the one we took remember the lowest trade is the one we took with what pin bar on uh, h1 uh, time frame when we the the, the pin bar low someone can have could have um went with a buy stop above the pin bar or remember another option which just to buy there instantly when the pin bar closes which is what i did and most of them i exited there but i left this one you can see there's still one running there or if you had went to m15 you would have went with this pin bar which was a low one and compared to the one that i took which is a good thing because the lower you enter when you're going long the bigger your profit margin you know the profit from this to that compared to this to that you can see if you had entered with using the m15 uh, pin bar you would have gotten uh, you know a better profit margin now that was the case the price went up and then it came back remember i'll show you how i entered the second one and then when it was going down this was the trend line which was more or less the same as what we had on on, on uh, h on h1 right this was the trend line and then what did i do i marked this level this and said this is my nearest uh, support and this is my nearest resistance on m15 right and remember we had already taken the the, the 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 buy from h1 and then it went up it hit that and then some of the trades are taken out but we left one now i'm trying to add another another trade right and then i'm saying this is the support where it gave it me a move and broke the trend line and broke the resistance which pushed the resistance to the next one remember what it did it broke the resistance and it broke the trend line which means it was a significant support that's why i placed a buy limit there and still what are you doing you're targeting the next strategy you can remember just because the price has hit a uh, support does not mean now it has to go all the way up it can do that but you don't have to predict that which is why i say when your account is still small just focus on what exiting at the next opposing structure like you've seen here so let's let me show you the thing if i zoom in you will see it was just a sniper you know, this one you can see that's the sniper but I'm, I'm i'm not gonna say to you i know how to catch snipers because i don't i just draw a uh, trade the support and resistance you see and based on that that's how sometimes the price will touch your thing you will touch your your it will activate your order and then it will just go up so you can see that ish, this support this resistance here the price has been struggling to break it it's been struggling to break it but the stop losses look where i have them i i have placed them they are below which means maybe the price to get there is gonna violate the the, the trend line and stuff like that but I'm not in a rush. I'm not gonna tighten it. That's why even when it went all the way up, I didn't tighten it. Why? Because of what? It's not the main uh, trade. Remember, there are those trades where you are very strict with your stop losses, but it's that, there's just that one. If you are able to open more than one, there's just that one where you just want to see it through. You see? So I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna leave it there and see how it plays out. So the price can 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 go down like this, obviously, and take out all my trades but that's fine or it can do what or it can still from here it can still go up because it is still around the same uh, m15 
support even though the support is no longer in good conditions because remember we want it when it was being tested for the first time now it was tested again and then it's been tested again you see and you know the the, the, the more the structure is, is being tested the weaker it gets hopefully it won't be the case with this one but even if it gets broken i'll still have something to lean on which is this trend line it can still hold the price and cause it to bounce up that's why i didn't want to put my stop loss here because it can come back and bite me but it is still above the trend line and it goes up you see so because it's not the main trade i still left them there and then i'll just see how it plays out i just see how it plays out hopefully it will continue going up and then because of they are next to each other just uh, next to each other i just decided that i'll close one here here at the top at this area of resistance Hopefully it will get there. And then if that one gets closed, which is going to be the lower one, yeah, I think it's this one. If 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 I get uh, if it hits that area and then I exit, it means now my trades would look like this. They would look like this. Okay, let's check them on H1 so that you can see. They would look like this, which is going to be trade one, trade two, and trade it three that's if we manage to go up and even make a new high that side then it means this is what i would be having but yeah that's it i just wanted to show you that you just need to be able to learn how to read the market structure and then if you are able to do that and don't be greedy don't be greedy for now just exited the next opposing structure if, uh, two months three months down the line you'll see the progress then maybe it will allow you to start opening uh, more than one trade and the other one you just want to see how far it can go you're just trying to push it you see and then yeah i'm gonna leave it like this i, I might not be posting uh, a lot of stuff going forward but I, I will try and give you like maybe a video or two a week which is just gonna be because remember we're starting with the mentorship uh the, the the program remember i told you that i'm launching a program and i did tell you that i need seven around seven people and i already got them and we are starting on monday so i'll be giving more attention that side but i'll still try and uh, give you guys something this side so that you can be you know just in case you decide to join us at some point you will have something to say oh i'm joining him because of the videos that he posted one two three i have learned something i want to learn more which is what i want i don't want you to join me because i showed you that i'm driving m4 and stuff like that no you must join because you saw the stuff that I'm teaching. So you let me know when you're ready to join. Then you can join in the group two, which is going to be two months from now. Because the program is going to be for two months. I'm taking those ones in for two months. And then after that, they should be ready. They should be ready. But it's going to require a lot of work from their side as well. It's not magic. It's not magic. And if you check how I'm doing it here, it won't be easy it's easy for me because i've i know how to know in terms of the eye with that eye for the market for the for them to develop that eye is going to take a while but they can always ask me questions and i'm going to ask uh, help them throughout so that's it guys um let's just watch how this one plays out but remember these are not the main trades the same way this was not the it's not the main trade why because when you took it that's when we were targeting that that's when we're targeting that and then that that one you just leave it in and see how far it can go the same way when you took this we're targeting that and we want to see now how far this one can go that's it all right guys i'll see you in the next video i hope you have learned something here in terms of how to read the market structure how to wait for the right areas for you to take your shorts you know to pull the trigger but sometimes you can pull the trigger and it doesn't work out but it's fine as long as you you are strict with your risk management then you you're not gonna blow you don't have to try and and make 200 percent of your account in one trade because that's how some people they end up blowing their accounts you know imagine you've been growing it nicely with small load sizes seeing uh, you know progress even though it, it's not i know sometimes you feel like it's slow but remember the account is small as soon as the account grows, the five percent on a bigger account, it's not the same amount of money as the five percent on what on your smaller account. So just be patient. This is a progress. 
this is a you know it's a, it's, it's not something that just lasts for a week just tell yourself that this is a long term thing over time you'll see the real results all right i'm gonna leave it like that and then i'll see you guys in the next video and for the guys that are in the mentorship you know we'll be continuing go telegram and having our lessons that side all right